Y'all, we pulled Ann out of ABA therapy. There's no more ABA therapy, and here's why. Look who just came home from school. Thought they just got a delivery and put this thing together. This is an Amazon drum set. And it lights up. Ann is so ready. She's so ready. You gotta wait, mommy. He's gotta finish putting it together. You need the little foot part on there. Ann is ready. The little stool, aw. Oh, uh, you got you some uh, field and range oil. I got some homemade kombucha that one of the gym members made for me. It's like a black cherry, no, no, a black berry flavor and I got this one as well. I'm about to try it really, really soon. I didn't know if I needed to let it ferment a little bit longer or if I should go ahead and drink it. Torn with those two decisions, but I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it can cool off and I can't wait to try it, y'all. First time having homemade kombucha. So, so excited. We gotta get her a bigger stool. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's a rock star. She been a rock star. Yeah, <laughs> and you playing the drums, girl? Drum kit. Drum? Kit. Kit? Drum kit? <laughs> you love that? You love it, mommy? What? Drum kids. Drum kids? Drum kids. You're a drum kid? Drum kit. Drum kit? She's checking out the instructions. She's like, oh, that's how it's put together. It came in this box. Let me show y'all the box. Anthony was like, this is not big enough because um, it came in this small box. But the pieces are, they were all separate. The round part of the drums were like sheets and you just, you know, put it, you build it up and put it together. So everything was like sliding in there like paper. You know, it was like sitting in there like filed paper. Be careful, Ann. You gotta be careful with that little stool. <laughs> because this is really for like a little, little kid, but y'all know for Ann, we just have to get her things that she likes. We don't really care about the age recommendation on there. We just get her what we think she likes and she's into these drums, y'all. You love it, mommy? You love it? Drum set. Drum. Drum kit. Good call, Daddy. She seems to really love it. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm getting ready to talk to y'all in just a second, but I'm just putting on some clothes, okay? I just came back from a run with Alex. We went out and we ran a 5K right quick, and I was hot and stuff, and so, yeah, I took off my shirt and stuff. I was having a sports bra. So let me just put on a shirt really quick. One second. <laughs> Y'all, these brains, they're getting a little ratty, but I think I can get away with like, at least another week to 10 days or so, but I was telling Anthony that I really like these braids, and I'm gonna put them right back in. So as soon as I take them out, I definitely wanna explore like a lighter color since I am dealing with the synthetic hair. I feel like I can choose like different colors. So I might try like a blonde look. We'll see if I feel like it. Anyway, y'all, I'm so excited because today was Anne's first day in her new classroom. I gotta fill y'all in, I gotta fill y'all in. So recently we got contacted by Anne's principal at her school and she was saying that Anne kind of outgrew the classroom she was in, okay? When you get enrolled in a school like that where they are meeting your child's special needs, they kind of base their placement on like your child's diagnosis, right? So Anne has an autism diagnosis, level three, nonverbal, as well as an intellectual disability diagnosis. So the classroom that they originally, you know, placed her in is one with like heavy on the assistance, um, low independence, right? Just kind of helping them get to a point where they can sit in a classroom setting and kind of just like focusing a lot of the curriculum around teaching them how to be students and just like kind of working with them on behaviors and, you know, creating an environment where they can, you know, eventually 
eventually start to learn while still incorporating moments of learning. But you know what I mean, right? And so the principal was like, well, Anne has mastered all of that, right? So they wanted to put her in a classroom with a little bit more of an academic focus where they could actually start to measure her on academics. And y'all listen, all right? For some of y'all that might not sound like a lot, but for us, we were in tears, we were crying and you know, it was just a huge accomplishment, right? We had no idea that this would be Anne's future. And just in such a short while, y'all, like the school year is not even like over yet and she's already advancing, y'all, and she's only been in school for a very short period of time. So we are just over the moon. We're so, so happy. We're so proud of her and we're so happy with the staff at her school, y'all. I have never seen more dedicated people focused on children excelling to the next level. I just have not seen this kind of dedication before and I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. So Anne is doing fantastic. She's doing an amazing job. And like I said, the staff, we cannot thank them enough. They are just amazing. So she's got a new classroom. She's gonna have new classmates, new teacher, new speech therapist. And I think everything else will stay the same. Her schedule doesn't change or anything, but yeah, y'all, it's amazing. So. Um, today was her first day with the new uh, situation and she seems really happy. So I don't know, I think it might be might be a good thing. And y'all, they threw Anne a little dance party for her going away to another class and um, they gave her this card and everybody signed it. So, so sweet. You're eating your strawberries? You ate your strawberries. Say hi. Mm. Mommy kiss? Okay. When she comes home for school, just get out her way. Just get out her way. <laughs> and we're also really excited because this week Anne has her first field trip. Y'all, I know, I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> she is going on her first field trip, y'all. They are going to a place where she can you know, exert her physical activity. She can bounce around, she can jump, she can flip. So they're going to a place like that. And I'm so excited. This will be Anne's first freaking field trip. And I know she's gonna love it. I want it to be a chaperone, but it's the same day as Ava's like six month checkup. And I could have changed the date and everything, but I decided to fall back a little bit, y'all. It took a lot for me to take a step back. So I'm not gonna go, right? I'm trying to do something different. I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna let her just be a kid and enjoy the fun with all the other kids. What do y'all think? <laughs> yeah, she did. She grabbed it. <laughs> and there's Ava jumping around, you know. So yeah, I need to get in the shower and get cleaned up and stuff from that run. We went into the trail and we did just like I said, a 5K. And it was so fun running with Moo and catching up with her and stuff. And you know, when we get together, we check on each other's well-being and things like that. So that's always nice, y'all. Felt good about the run today. I did it in less than 30 minutes. And I always love doing that. The, the further below 30 minutes I go with my 5Ks, the better for me, because I'm kind of, I'm an endurance runner, but I like to kind of perform and get some good times, you know? So my pace was good. I didn't feel defeated. I was hydrated. You know, we went and got protein smoothies afterwards. Oh, I told you we saw Emma. Yeah, yeah, I told you that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just on my computer right now working on um, a little project, a little side project I'm working on. I'm gonna share with you guys very, very soon, so stay tuned. It's something dealing with travel, okay? And you're all invited. So I will be sharing that with y'all very, very soon. Just let me get a little bit more framework um, figured out and then I will let you guys know. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day and it is a beautiful one, okay? I think it's about 65 degrees outside. So for the Midwest, that's practically summertime. Um, I'm gonna be heading out in a second. I need to run some errands. I gotta go to Costco and take those diapers back and try to get the right size. I had a good workout this morning. I went to the gym. It was so hard to go because my body was so sore, y'all, like from yesterday's run. I was real sore, so it took a lot to, for me to get up and get out, but I drank some of that kombucha and gave me like a burst of energy, and I was like, okay, so we got it done. Make some coffee before I go. Hair in a bun today. I was telling Anthony I'm kind of tempted to reset these braids. I know I got at least another like week and a half with them because as of today, they've been in for like two and a half weeks but the hair is starting to tangle which I knew would happen and you know you get a little bored I'm like I want a different color I want a different parting scenario all that stuff so I'm gonna give it another like week and a half so I will have had them for like three to three and a half weeks which I think is fair for the time investment 
stuff is so good. It's just, you run out of it so quickly. I feel like they don't put a lot of product in there. Hey Sansa. Hey Sansa. Hey, where you going? Hi. Y'all, when we were outside yesterday, coming back from our run, we were just kind of hanging out and Sansa was with us and we were trying to take a picture with her and we did get a couple good pictures, but she ended up running down the street and like trying to go to the park and I didn't feel like chasing after her. So I was just gonna wait for her to come back and girl, the neighbors were freaking out. I'm like, y'all, y'all know Sansa, stop it. But uh, Anthony had to come downstairs and go get her. She was running to the park. I was trying to go to the park. I wanted to play in the park. <laughs> Big head. All right, I got my coffee to go. I got my water to go. <laughs> Let me show y'all Ann's water this morning. Ann is so funny, y'all. This this is what she had this morning with her breakfast. Okay, yeah, I'm creating a water snob. <laughs> Y'all, not these curtains that I took down from the family room, still in the garage. I asked Anthony to throw these away and they're still sitting here, y'all. He thinks I'm gonna change my mind. So he's like, nope, I'm gonna put them right here. She gonna change her mind. Y'all, is he right? <laughs> all right, all right, we are on the move, y'all. Headed over here to Costco. I got my <laughs> uh, diapers in tow, honey. I do not have my receipt. I don't know what I did with it. Hopefully it's fine. Anthony said it should be fine. By the way, him and Ava just laid down for a nap. I'm like, I wanna be like y'all. <laughs> no, I got too much stuff to do today. I have a call, um, which is why I need to hurry and get back uh, in a couple hours here with a financial advisor. I need to reconfigure some stuff with the way I am saving now that Ava's here so need to get that call out the way just cross it off my to-do list and then I kind of want to take a walk you know just to close my exercise ring up because I only worked out for 25 minutes today and my exercise ring is not closed and I just want to like finish it off with some steps because I went really hard on the pavement yesterday with running and I don't want to do that again today but I do want to get my steps in so I'm just going to go for a walk and I want to take Ava out to get some fresh air I want to take Sansa so she can get some exercise and I want Anthony to join me. <laughs> he's doing weight training today. He's gonna go to LA Fitness. He's not gonna go to our um, hit gym today. And so usually when he does that, he doesn't really like to get in extra steps because he goes pretty hard with the weightlifting. When he's done, usually he has burned like 1200 calories or something. I'm like, boy, I would have to work out all day to get to 1200 calories and he'll get it in one strength training session. So usually, you know, he doesn't want to walk afterwards, but I'm gonna try to get him to do it. It's so nice, y'all, like so nice. It's not too hot, you know, it's just like the perfect temp for walking. But yeah, so this is what I wanted to talk to y'all about. So y'all, we pulled Ann out of ABA therapy. There's no more ABA therapy, and here's why. So it's actually been a little bit of a, um, a build-up effect with arriving at our decision to take her out of the ABA program. So the first thing uh, that has been going on probably for like several months, maybe even a year, um, we found out that her autism therapy center was struggling to retain therapists, right? Specifically in the speech pathology category. And what I found out through just talking with some people and doing my own research is that um, the autism therapy centers be competing with the public schools for speech pathologists because the public schools, at least in this area, you know, where the taxes are high, the schools can offer them more money. And so, I mean, if I was a speech pathologist, I mean, as much as I would care about the community, the autism community, I'm not gonna take a lower paying job to do that. I'm gonna help the community with the higher paying job. So they get outbidded a lot for those speech pathology positions. And so I remember it was one point that Ann didn't even have speech therapy for like a very long time. And I remember some of the other parents were like kind of concerned too, like, hey, Hey, you know these kids are nonverbal we want to have speech therapy like we don't just want to have ABA and so yeah that was going on and so I didn't like that but you know when she started school I was like oh well you know they the speech therapist you know she has a speech therapist at school so no big deal we'll stay in ABA so that solved that problem but it created yet another one because when it comes to insurance they kind of don't really want to cover um, the program is much when they know that your child is in school because they know that they're getting occupational therapy and speech therapy and they're like, oh, we're not gonna pay for them to have like, you know, the ABA when we know they're getting most of what they need at the public school. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with this either. If you are, 
you know, sound off in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Let me know how it works in you guys' area because I know it depends on what state you live in and all that. But yeah, girl, that's what was going on. And then recently, like right before I pulled the trigger on taking her out of the program, I was talking with one of the therapists and they were saying like, you know, like, beware you know that insurance is going to start you know really pushing back on Anne's like program and you know we might come across some issues where they don't want to pay and like da 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 and then when they started talking about that I was like I've been thinking about you know just having us focus more just on her school program and, and just really investing all of our time and resources and effort into the school program I've been thinking about it but that was the straw that broke the camel's back because I was like no nah, we definitely not about to be playing no games with the insurance company so I'm like I'll just stop the program and we'll just focus on what the school is offering and y'all I don't have any regrets about that so far you know when you really think about it, it wasn't until she went to school where we actually were able to get our hands on an AAC device like we have been trying to do that for years and then she goes to the school and gets it in a month I mean you know it was like stuff like that that was letting me know that the school was the better place to be investing effort and she's just really really making strides y'all like just killing it you know and then when I found out that you know they were putting her in a more advanced class I was like, I'm just sold, you know, no regrets. So we're gonna miss the folks at the Autism Therapy Center. Let me just give them credit as well. Um, they've worked with Ann for, I think Ann had been in the system, so to speak, for like five years. Like, cause she started at like 18 months. So yeah, it's been, it's, you know, it's been a journey with them and they have helped her overcome so many things. It's just that school took it, like school just, skyrocketed everything that she had already had the potential of becoming and that, so that's that's kind of how I like to describe it but school was able to like formalize you know the things that we knew Anne could do and the uh, you know it just really opened up the doors for like more learning and stuff so school just took it to the next level but ABA you know it did it it did what it needed to do you know for when it needed to do it you know and it's just like life is full of commencements like changes will occur you just have to be flexible and fluid and just ready for it it's hard it's so hard to walk away from you know something common something you know like your comfort zone it's just it's really really tough but we you know we've had long conversations as a family you know um I even considered the input of like my sisters and my dad and stuff and you know we think we made the right decision I'm definitely gonna be keeping in touch with some of the therapists that were really key in Anne's development for sure that's definitely something I want to do in fact Anne just you know took another picture day and I'm ordering prints and I'm going to be hand delivering them to some of the people at the therapy center who I know you know wanted a picture of Anne you know for her school pictures or whatever so you know I got people's phone numbers I text people like we're, we're still very much so in touch because to have five years in a program you can't just walk away from that I mean you know we don't want to just walk away from it we definitely want to keep the lines of communication open but yeah it was hard it was very very hard oh my god I spilled coffee right on my damn hoodie I don't even know how that happened I'm gonna have to throw this in the washing machine as soon as I get home with hopes that it does not stain oh my god Sansa greeted me at the door. Okay, let me show y'all what all I got. Okay, so I was so excited to see that they had the nori, right? Seaweed snacks. These are all for Ann. Okay, plenty. She'll be happy to see that. Had to restock my coffee. I went ahead with the medium roast, you know. Y'all, when I was in Seattle, I was able to visit the Pike Place, um, original Starbucks. It was kind of cool. And then I got the diapers in the size that I need. So this is the size three, 16 to 28 pounds. I got some Chilean sea bass. Okay, we'll see how that one tastes. Usually I only get it super, super fresh from like Whole Foods, but we'll see how that frozen one goes. And then some salmon and these two pack of marinara. Man, it's starting to really pile up here. Just a quick Costco trip in and out, you know what I'm saying? I was actually there when they were opening the doors. Okay, and I'm glad I did get there right when they were opening because that return and exchange line 
was out the door right behind me. Like I got in line and I was like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And I turn around and look and the line is out the door. And I'm like, see, I would have been pretty annoyed if I had to stand in that long line. So I got it out the way. You know, I went for diapers and ended up getting this stuff, but I think that's okay because it's kind of what we needed. And I'm, I feel pretty good about the fines. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put most of this stuff away. I think I hear Anthony waking up. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Ugh, why is my thing wobbly? It's time for some new filming equipment. Mm -hmm. Let me hit this light because I don't like the way it's making me look yellow. Um, I really don't like that. See, it's just, I, I just prefer natural light. Like nothing does you more like justice than natural light. Anyway, okay. After I did my financial call, good call by the way, I'm just sitting here uh, eating these seaweed snacks and drinking some water. You know, I know these are for air, but you know, I gotta test them, you know, to make sure that, you know, you know, they're safe for her. <laughs> I was thinking because there's so many of them that I'll maybe put a little packet together just for her to have at school and then you know, we can have the ones at home. I think I think I want to do that. Yeah, but they're really delicious, y'all. This brand is like so, so good because they're seasoned. Seasoning makes all the difference. Y'all, these are really, really good. Dare I say this might be the best seaweed snack I've ever had. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Very delicious. So I just ate two packs, but you know how with these, I mean, you can eat like four packs and still be like, what, you know, whatever, because they're just so tiny and like air, it's almost like seasoned air. It's like you're not eating anything, but it's so they're so good. Now I'm like craving sushi rice to go with this. But anyway, back to the whole point. I came down here to put some of this stuff away. Um, that's why this cabinet is open. <laughs> Just got off Amazon, freaking ordering the most random stuff, y'all. But I'll share those things with you when they arrive. I ordered some new cups. I ordered Ann a little Stanley cup because I'm just realizing they have smaller ones. So this is the 30 ounce, the one I have. And then I ordered her the 20 ounce, which I think is the perfect size for her. We have a little stainless steel little metal cup that we've been using for years. And Anne it gets so obsessed with things, she doesn't like a lot of change, so we've just been using the same one. And it needs to be replaced. It's like all janky, you know, loose. You know, the straw flip thing is all loose and stuff. So I wanna get her a nice sturdy one that kinda will take her over the next few years. And I know I can trust the quality of these ones. So I got her one of those. It's so cute, it's like a little purple cup. I'll show it to you guys. And I just ordered some other little cups for like water infusions because now that Anne is getting more into that, we're having to like share our water um, infused Water with her which is fine but I just want to get like some little cups to make it easy for her to kind of choose which infusion she wants whether it be strawberry something with a herb in there like some mint or something cucumber one lemon whatever I want to have like the little clear cups so I ordered those because I saw them y'all we've been here fighting over food and it's kind of like adopting our tastes mostly mine more so than Anthony's and so I feel like I'm having to buy like more of the things that I like just to split it with her. So like with me, we fight over tomatoes, we fight over seaweed snacks, we fight over infused water. What else? We fight over rice. Okay, I ordered some sushi the other night. She already had her dinner. I'm just ordering something just so I can eat before I go to bed. And she's stealing my sushi rolls because it has rice on it. So she's taking the sushi roll, eating the rice from around the outside and then just leaving the rest just there. What a time to be alive, okay? With Anthony, they pretty much just fight over Nutty Buddies. <laughs> That's the other cane Corso. <laughs> you look crazy. Okay, we're back inside, had a nice quick walk. We just went around the neighborhood real quick and Ava loved it, right? This weather has just been so nice. I'm just taking it all in. So it's about that time. Anna's gonna be getting dropped off by the bus very soon here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her afternoon munchies set up so that our evening can go smooth. That way I can get myself together, the baby, and enjoy my evening, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about lighting a fire in the backyard tonight. It's just that nice.
Somebody ran straight to the drum set with the nori by their side. You want me to open your uh, seaweed snacks? So this is what Ann did at school today. She wrote letters. She painted a picture. More painting. And more painting. Looks like donuts or bagels. Is that a bagel, sweet girl? She's like, open my seaweed. And then we fill out one of these every day for the new class. Describing how her evening went, how much sleep she got, and what happened with breakfast, which usually yeah, yeah, yeah. usually it's here for breakfast. <laughs> well, the only thing though with the new class, bring it to me in, we'll go outside uh, shortly, is uh, she hasn't really been eating a whole lot of her lunch. Um, it, can, it just could be the lunch, you know, she could be over it, you know, or she could be like still adjusting to the new setting. So we'll see how it goes. It's only day two with her not eating her lunch. So we'll see how it pans out. Here you go, sweet girl. Seaweed time. I think you're gonna really like this one. This one's got seasoning. I think you're gonna like it. But well, we gotta stay in our seat, okay? Ann, you gotta stay in the seat. Come on. Nah. What you looking for, Ann? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. She wants watermelon and turkey cocut slices. Come on, Ann. Okay, I'm over here figuring out dinner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cook this Chilean sea bass for dinner just because it was previously frozen according to the note on the package and I don't know how I feel about freezing it again. I think I need to cook this right away or I'm gonna regret it. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about just kind of like hand searing the Chilean sea bass. It's kind of like my favorite way to have it. And then I'm just cooking whatever I have here because I'm not about to place an Instacart order. Actually, I could. Actually, I really, really could. Okay, I'm gonna place an Instacart order. I just did last night. They're gonna be like, this lady is so weird. I'm just ordering like one-off things. That's just how I am. I don't feel like going to the grocery store myself though. That's definitely not a question. But anyway, I got this seasoning pack. It's a vegetable roasting seasoning pack. I'd get these from Walmart. I love using this on my food because it's a pack of seasoning. So it has everything that you didn't think of or that you couldn't think of, right? So it's just like a really complex um, flavoring, you know, versus just salt and pepper and whatever you have you know in your pantry this will help you like kind of discover a new flavor in my opinion so sometimes I like using this like to season different meats to season different roasts or anything that I'm putting together in a pan I'll just throw some of this on it and sometimes it's a hit um, usually it's a hit right when I do that so that's what I'm gonna try this time with these urban accents and then I got some capers I really kind of want to add capers freaking love capers and then I have some shallots that I'm like, I just need to cook this. And I want to do like some potatoes, some roasted potatoes. So yeah, let me go ahead and place my Instacart order and then have it the stuff here in like an hour and a half, two hours at the most, and I'll be able to cook. See, right now it's only like 3.30. I have plenty of time. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy some of this kombucha. I'm finishing up this first bottle. It is so good, y'all. Like, it is so freaking good. Um, the lady that made this for me was saying that uh, she made it with, like flavored it with like pineapple, blackberries, and like something else, and it just tastes so good. And, and don't kick that. And get down. And.
Ann, get down. <laughs> it is rubber mulch, so it's not gonna be too bad if she happens to fall. Looking at my uh, Instacart progress and they don't have a lot of the stuff that I want. So the girl is like replacing stuff and like refunding stuff. And I'm just like, oh man, I wanted these things. Got my eye on Ava. <laughs> All right, we're back in. It's getting really dark. So we went ahead and just closed down shop. Um, and didn't want to come in, but I got to get my Instacart orders on the porch. I don't want to scare them, so. I think Sansa is a smart girl. She'll only like really get for real, for real serious about an intruder if like I give her the vibe that it's an intruder. It can't just be a delivery person that I'm not fearful of because Sansa will, uh, I think she'll be able to tell like, okay, this is not somebody I need to be on that with. <laughs> okay, let me show y'all what I ended up getting. Look, I done forgot already. What did I tell them? Okay, so I did get the potatoes, the red potatoes. Yeah. And then, okay, I did get the tomatoes. Y'all, these are the different color ones, so I kind of think Anne won't mess with mine if they look like this. I, I'm, I'm gonna see, but I think that these don't look like tomatoes to her, or they won't look like tomatoes to her. So we'll see how that works out. But um, I got those, because I can't cook nothing without putting tomatoes in it. <laughs> and then I got um, some cucumbers, nice and cold, okay? And then I think I'll try to get some organic fresh dill to put in and they didn't have it according to the shopper. Um, I, I can't see how they not, they don't have deal. I think she just overlooked it if I'm being honest, but it's okay. I do have some dry deal in the cupboard, so it'll be fine. Okay, let me turn on some lights here. Get my hands washed. Y'all, I really didn't get a good fire going. Like I realized that I really, it didn't really work out well because it had rained like not even a week ago and I think my firewood got soaked and it be taking a long time for firewood to dry out when it's been soaked through from a rainstorm. But let me take this hoodie off and then wash my hands and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so for this dish, y'all, I'm kind of channeling a dish that I had before that was really, really good. I don't know if y'all remember, but when me and Anthony went to Tulum for his birthday, I think that was like two years ago, we had a chef in the 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 villa, the Airbnb, right? And he had cooked this bass, this sea bass, and he had like this creamy citrus sauce on top. It was some of the best fish um, that I'd ever had, right? Because of that sauce and because of the way he did it and everything, it was so, so good. So I'm gonna try to recreate that just based on memory and just like intuitively putting the flavors and stuff together. Hopefully we get close to it, but y'all know I'm not gonna lie, if it's nasty, I'll say it's nasty, but we gonna try it. Oh my God, so funny, so Ann does not recognize those yellow and orange tomatoes as tomatoes. And she does not want them. She only wants the red ones. So y'all, I think I might have found a solution to her stealing my freaking cherry tomatoes. I'll just buy myself the colorful ones and I'll just buy her the red ones. And that's how you do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sweet girl. Okay, stop pulling on mommy.
right? This is how it turned out, yo. Okay, so we did the roasted potatoes. I added in some tomatoes. I just kind of sauteed the Chilean sea bass. This is a bed of couscous that's a little bit mushy, but it's okay. And then the sauce, y'all, is just a cream sauce with a little bit of lemon. Um, I'm afraid I added a little too much lemon, but we about to find out. <laughs> but it tastes very similar to the cream sauce that I had when we were in Tulum. I'm just hoping that it goes well with the, the sea bass. But that's my dinner, and I barely survived because these kids have been in here just pulling me from every angle. Okay, and then also y'all saw me with that Walmart seasoning. I went ahead and seasoned the Chilean sea bass with that, so I'm hoping that turns out well as well. So let's see what we have here. You know, sometimes you just have to be creative, otherwise you're gonna get bored, so. Ann, 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 Ann. Can we just wait a moment? Okay, let me try the meat first. Okay. Looks delicious. Mm. Damn. The meat is very good. Holy crap. I'm gonna eat some of the couscous with the cream and a little paper on there. And. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try these potatoes. <laughs> Tail's gonna cook a little longer. All right, dinner was delicious, y'all. I don't regret it. It was very, very good. I got a little bit of leftover. I'll probably just eat that like real quick in the morning or something. But right now it's a quarter to eight. So we're a little behind schedule. I gotta get somebody a bath. Give me a kiss. So I'm gonna quickly clean up this kitchen, get a dishwasher a little going, and then get this one in the tub by the next 12 minutes. <laughs> and what are you doing? Step back, sweet girl. Come on. Kitchen is closed. <laughs> Kitchen is closed, honey. Let's do it to my capers. Oh. Yeah, I usually like to have Ann's bath by like 7.30, so we're behind schedule, but she'll get it before 8, and then she usually just falls right to sleep after that. Leave on Sunday and then land at 5 a.m. on Monday. And then have to go really straight, you know, straight to the office. In Ireland, they're on the same time as like uh, the UK. Yeah, it's like UK. So I, I want to say they're either five or six hours ahead of us, uh, Eastern time. Right. Okay. I can't really recall, but I'm 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 so glad to be taking just a straight nonstop flight there from Dallas. Um, because I think I've had it with connecting flights. If I can help it. Well, how long is the flight to Ireland? Huh? How long is the flight to Ireland? Like six hours? About seven. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of long. So I, I'm just like, all right, let me. Yeah. And I think it was like, they probably took a moment for Yeah. I should have done that because. <laughs> Look in the mirror. Turn this way. Mommy, kiss. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, let's get to bed. <laughs> come on. Ready? Get under the blanket. Good night. It's storming. Oh man, it's about to storm. It hasn't started raining yet, but it's about to. Okay, I got Ann in the bed. Let me turn this light off here. And uh, Ava, you're next. <laughs> Sansa is sleeping right here with the lightning and everything. She's not gonna move from this spot. She's gonna, I mean, that's her sergeant at arm spot. So she's gonna be keeping watch. I kinda wanna go out here and cover this fire pit because it's gonna be a mess if it gets filled up with water. So let me do that really quick. Kitchen is clean. Okay, everything's sanitized, food put away, dishwasher going, bottle sanitizer going. Look, we did it, okay. We did it just in time. Okay, let me run out here real quick and cover this fire pit, be right back. Oh, 
Okay, so the rain started a little bit, so I got a little, little wet. Y'all, wait till Anthony gets home from work tomorrow in the morning. I gotta tell him, like, what a crazy evening I had. Y'all, my evenings be crazy as a mom of two, but tonight was, like, extra crazy. Like, oh my God. Okay, let me get cleaned up and then go get Ava. <laughs> Good girl, Sansa. Let me tell you something, baby. You might get in the house, but you're not getting up these stairs. <laughs> Look, you might get in the house, but you're not getting up, you're not getting past this one. <laughs> Love you, Sansa. <laughs> yeah. It decided to start hailing. Do y'all hear that? The skylight getting hit hard oh my god Okay, y'all, it's a quarter to nine. Ava's asleep now. Ann is, I think, asleep. She's in the bed and I haven't heard anything, so I think she's asleep. And so, I had my shower. I feel so good. It feels so good <laughs> to take a shower at the end of the day. This is another one of those three shower days because of the gym and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a three shower day. <laughs> and I'm about to just kind of relax for a second. I wanna watch this documentary about the, the runners in Kenya. Mumu was telling me something about it. I'm kind of obsessed with running right now. So I wanna watch that before I go to bed and get ready for, um, to do this all over again tomorrow. I'm getting up in the morning and heading to the gym. And that's what it is. And y'all spent the whole day with me, which was so awesome. Listen, these days be long and hard, but when you have something incorporated in your day that you enjoy, in this case, content creation and, and being able to kind of have this community with you guys, it makes it so much more awesome. And today was good. Closed all three of my rings. I'm about to relax and I'm gonna be in the bed on time. So that means I'm gonna get a full eight hours of sleep. Yeah, pretty much. So that's it for today's vlog, you guys. Thank you so, so much for sticking around all the way to the end. And thanks for hanging with us today on your precious Sunday. I will see you guys in the next one. Okay? Bye.